Almost every business decision we make on a daily basis is based on emotions. We feel choice A is better than choice B, therefore many times we make our choices based on what our emotions or gut feelings are telling us. People need to have the self-awareness of their own emotions and the origins to understand themselves better, their motivations, fears, limitations, and strengths. It's also extremely important for people to be in touch with their emotions when working in teams, but just as important is their ability to work with empathy, to imagine a problem or situation from another perspective, to stand in somebody else's shoes. Being attuned to other people's emotions and concerns is even more significant today when teams are cross-cultural and businesses are global, thus increasing the complexity of interactions and how emotions are expressed. Emotional intelligence is quite simply the ability to understand, express, and manage your own emotions, develop and maintain good social relationships, and think clearly and solve problems under pressure. Try this simple exercise. Recall a recent incident you would describe as stressful. Visualize yourself as an observer, not a participant, almost like you are looking down on the situation from above. As you shift from the role of the participant to the observer, notice the corresponding shift in your emotional state. This self-awareness, now freed of its emotional charge, will help you clearly see how you are impacted by the situation and how you are impacting others. All too often, there's very little emphasis placed on building soft skills or emotional intelligence in schools or workplaces. So where does one learn how to hone these soft skills? The Leading with Emotional Intelligence course is an essential leadership program which helps students, corporate professionals, and entire organizations realize their full potential and improve their relationships with others. In this Leading with Emotional Intelligence program, we work through the EQI 2.0 model developed by MultiHealth Systems, which consists of 15 emotional intelligence competencies, including some of the following. Self-regard, the ability to accept yourself for who you are, warts and all. Assertiveness, the ability to say, in a non-offensive way, what you need to say when you need to say it. Social responsibility, the ability to give back, to be helpful. Impulse control, the ability to resist or delay an impulse, drive, or temptation to act. And flexibility, the ability to transition your emotions from one state to another. The only way to strengthen your 15 emotional intelligent competencies is to work them. Just like strengthening your biceps, the only way you can build these competencies is if you practice working them. If you want stronger biceps, you do more curls. Well, in a sense, if you want stronger emotional muscles, you do the exercises you need to in order to improve them. This Leading with Emotional Intelligence program provides the necessary tools to 1. Perceive, express, and manage your own emotions. 2. Be aware of others' feelings and help establish strong relationships. And three, use the information provided by your emotions to act appropriately in the face of daily challenges. The more you understand your emotions as well as others, the better your professional and personal lives will be.